Years ago, man created the ultimate frustration, golf. A game designed to test the true limits of man's patience. A sport combining beauty and strength. A sport demanding eye and hand coordination. Oh, just an accident. Here's the man who can put it all together for you. The man who can help you help your game. Dirk Gore, the Duke of Divots. Tim Conway starring in Dorf on Golf, with a special appearance by Vincent Ciavelli. And now, here's Dorf. In the golf, the object of the game is to get this a tiny little weeny ball into that the tiny little weeny hole way down there with as a few strokes as possible. Now I'd like to introduce a very valuable asset to, to my game of a golf, my caddy, a Leonard. Leonard will, of course, be selecting the right the club for me and also giving me some information on the course itself. Right, Leonard? Huh? The club, Leonard, the club. You'll be giving me information about the course and selecting the right the club. The club's over there. Right, that's what I mean. We get... <laughs> Leonard, that's the club house. It's pretty, isn't it? Isn't it, though? I'll tell you what. Why don't you run over there and get yourself a tuna fish sandwich? I hear that fish is real good for the brain. <laughs> now, let us begin. You want lettuce on that tuna? <laughs> it's going to be a long day. And before we introduce the hole that we are going to be playing here today, I would like to introduce another assistant of mine, a friend of Leonard's, a Boom Boom LaRue. <laughs> Now, the hole itself. Um, as you can see, the hole we will be playing today is a par four hole with a dog leg to the left. Uh, can you get a shot of that uh, dog leg? <laughs> Not this dog's leg. This is the dog leg. <sighs> All right, let's get out to the course. <clears throat> Not you, Boom Boom. <laughs> you stay. I go. Mm. And now we'd like to show you some of the uh, supplementary equipment that you can purchase to help that the game of a golf of yours. Uh, first of all, this is a little uh, arm brace that you can purchase to see that it's adjustable. And then the, once you find the correct position for your elbow itself, you just uh, lock that little dude in like that, and then it is permanently locked. You keep your hand straight when you hit that ball like that. Now, this uh, next little piece of equipment that I have on my leg here, I would like to describe to you. Uh, it's a little electrical device we have here to keep your leg straight. Uh, Leonard, excuse me, I know that you're real busy, but uh, <laughs> you want to just to plug that in. Here you go. And that goes into this small battery over there, Leonard. Right. That's good. <laughs> like a gazelle. <clears throat> now, what this is, is a little electrical device that gives you a little electrical reminder that if you move your leg too side to one side like that, boy, it gives you a little zzz. I'll show you how that works. Ah. Ah. <laughs> Leonard, you got that to plugged into the 220 line. It's supposed to be just to do that little battery. Ah. <clears throat> anyway. Leonard will now attach our next little device. Told you, just the battery, not the 220 line. Attach this up here. Now, this little device here is designed to keep your legs in the correct position when you're hitting it at the ball like that. You notice that you can't move too far. Just to pound it in with the hammer, Leonard. Put it in the hole and pound it in, Leonard. That's it. One, two, three. That's good, Leonard. <coughs> Step aside. Now, these little devices like this, as I say, are designed to keep your legs in the correct position. <laughs> of course, you just use this in the practice. You don't use this when you're really a playing. <laughs> <laughs> you still got that plugged into the 220 line. <clears throat> Give me that the next piece of equipment. Thank you. Now, this little device here, <clears throat> is a design to keep your head down and your eye on the ball. This a chain attaches to this a little brace down here on your stomach. Uh, Leonard, hand me my golf club, please. That's a hammer, Leonard. I want the golf club, see? Hammer, golf club. That's a good. 
<coughs> now, I'll just uh, attach this down here and uh, show you how this little apparatus works. You can uh, see that this keeps your head down and your eye on the ball. Now, so just uh, how easy it is to hit this, and remember that old saying, and no harm at all can befall the guy who keeps his eye on the ball. So, go on! <laughs> Leonard, help me up here. All right. Leonard, watch out there for those golf carts. How many times have I... Ah! <laughs> Unplug it, the Q20 line, Leonard. Unplug it. <sighs> By me. Stop it. <laughs> Well, now, you wouldn't drive your car in the winter time, would you, without properly warming it up? Of course you wouldn't. And the same theory applies to golf itself. You shouldn't even go out there and take a one practice swing unless you warm up before you do that. That way you don't have those doggone back pains when you get through with the day and you can just sit at home and relax at the end of the day. So we'd like to show you some of the basic warm-up shots that we'll be doing here for you so that you can play a better game of golf. Leonard, do you want to hand me my club? Right. Because the important thing to warm up in golf is that uh, those are new clubs. And now they got little scratches on there, nice and acute like that. Leonard, do you want to stand over there for me, please, out of the way? All right. Here's a beauty. <clears throat> Some of the basic warm-ups that you can do, first of all, you take your club like this, you place it behind your back, and you give a simple stretch. Here's the one, and the two, and the one, and the two, like that. That's how you use that club. Then, of course, you want to start to the beginning to stretch that torso out. So we start with the sum of this, where you touch the other. And the one, and the two, and the two, and the two, as you want to. Even some jumping jacks come in pretty handy there. Like that. And then, of course, you want to stretch out the to the side. Get the touch of that ground real good. This to let those muscles stretch out for you like that. Then we get into some more basic exercises like the setups. Now, what we want to do here is to stretch right in here. So we come up and we touch those toes real good. One and the two. One and the two. One and the two, just like that. Then, some heavier exercises. We want to get right into the setup. So, we just a round. And the two. And the three. And the four, and we're ready to go. So, now that we're already in there, of course, at home, if you have weights that you want to use, you can use those too. But, of course, use those just at the home. Leonard, bring in those weights, will you? <laughs> Now, first of all, the first lift is to the waist. Like that. Then we bring her to the chest. Like that. You got to be careful when you go over head with her. Then you just hold it up there and then let it down gently at, oh boy. Oh, I think I blew a tube on this. Now, here we are on the first tee, par four. So we'll tee up our first drive here and see if we can't get one out there about 2, 250, maybe. <laughs> two, two. <laughs> All right. Ah. Not too bad there, a little off it to the right, but the doggone the nice hit. You see, now that's the advantage of having this on the videotape here. See, we can take a look at this and just slow it down and see where we went wrong. Now, first of all, let's look at the swing in the regular speed. <laughs> and now let's take a look at that same swing and slow it down a little bit and see just to where we went wrong there.
Aha, well, see, that was the trouble. Didn't keep our elbow in there. <laughs> well, our uh, first shot was a pretty good. We're right out there about in the middle of the old fairway there. And now this is our all-important second shot, and we'll get an opportunity to use our... arms. <laughs> <laughs> boom, boom. The hole go bang, bang here. <laughs> Well, here we are on the fairway. And well, Leonard, with that well-trained caddy eye of yours, how far do you think we are from the hole here? Far. <laughs> Leonard, why don't you consider getting to bed a little early tonight? I'd hate to have you miss a visit from the IQ ferry. <laughs> Give me my five iron. All right. Now, we're going to construct a typical five iron shot here for you. I'll be showing you exactly how that, uh, how that goes with the five iron. It's the one with the five on it. <laughs> I got it. You sure do. Get your numbers and colors down, you're going to be a real threat. <laughs> <clears throat> well, we're about uh, 150 yards far from the hole here, so we're going to construct a typical iron shot for you. <clears throat> of course, you must remember that on both sides of it, the fairway itself is lurking the hazards. <clears throat> those little dudes can just uh, suck up your ball like a nothing flat, but if you get into those, we'll show you how to get out of those. So I'm going to now construct this iron shot for... Leonard, why don't you just uh, zip on down there and watch where this ball goes, all right? <clears throat> right. Just uh, zip on down. Ooh, what a jet stream you leave there. <clears throat> All right, now for the iron shot itself. Now, first of all, you want to keep your feet parallel with the ball. You play a little off of this foot here. And then we're going to keep our shoulders, of course, straight across here. We're going to keep our head right above the ball here. And then we're going to keep our elbows in like this. And then we're going to bring the ball uh, with the... Um, <clears throat> pardon me. Getting this right all over me here, and I can't see the fairway. Just kind of lighten up on that. Keep that arc going like that. The white is. All right, now, here we go. There she goes. What a shot, huh? Ah, they're up. They're up. Take the club. Well, unfortunately, our last shot went into this uh, hazard there. <laughs> oh, oh, boom, boom. You stand over there, please. Explain to the book. Into this hazard there. <laughs> Take my word for it. That's <laughs> ah, over here, Leonard. Bring the bag over here. Ah. And we're still in bounds here. <laughs> so we. Don't get a penalty. Leonard, hand me the uh, three there, will you? Three. Right. Three. Three. You know, like uh, one, two, four, five. Figure out what's missing. That's the one we'd like to have. Three. Just like this one. Thank you. Stand over there, will you? All right. Hmm. All right. Now, going to come out of the rough here. Try to pick this ball up. Oh, we're in the rougher. <laughs> Leonard, uh, keep your eye on the, the ball. Right. Practice. 
Is that a practice? Shut up! <laughs> well, you're out of there. You're in the water. Stop for watching. You know, a good caddy would go get that ball. Right. <laughs> Roughs, of course. Zam, zam, then into the water, then over to the sand. Uh, here's where I got my clothes dried over here. Now, for the sand shot, remember to firmly plant your feet before you hit the dead ball. Don't touch the sand with the club. Get a good line on it, and then just pop it right up onto the old green. Just like that. Close to the... Close to the sand where it went. <clears throat> I can see it. You don't have to. Point it. All right. There she goes. All right. Get those feet firmly planted. Chat, but we'll show you how to handle this. All right. Ah, back on the fairway again. Here you go, Swifty. He's good, isn't he? Mm. Well, we're finally out of the rough and back on to the fairway again. Looks like we only got about a nine iron shot here, so I'll just be taking the old ball right up to the pin. Just a nice, uh, easy swing here. Just stick it. Uh, <laughs> and I'm at the pick up trouble here, Leonard. Uh. <laughs> Would it be asking too much of you to take care of a situation like that before the dog goes whizzer woo all over me like that? <laughs> Go home, boy! Go home! <laughs> Could you do that a little sooner? When a situation arises that is interrupting a golfer's concentration, you take care of it right now! You see in them big tournaments when them photographers are clicking away, the golfer always just has to shut up? The caddies are supposed to take care of that, don't you know? So when it arises, you take care of it right now. You don't to wait. Right. Yeah. Stand over there. Right. <laughs> oh, nine iron the shot to the green is all we got to do. Concentration. That's the important thing. Well, 
Looks like the sand again. <laughs> Apparently <on>. is. <laughs> well, I wanted to keep me moving right along here, so we're just going to play through this foursome here. I'm sure they won't mind that. <laughs> Bonehead. <clears throat> Ow! <laughs> Wonderful, boom, boom. <laughs> well, as uh, you can uh, see, we've just about to got this hole wrapped up because we are on the green. So, we'll be... <laughs> ...using the putter. <laughs> well, this is it, the moment of truth. We're on the dance floor, as they say. <laughs> as you can see, I've only got about a foot putt there, so, uh, Leonard, you want to mark the ball, clean it, put the ball back there, and I'll just slam her into the old hole. <laughs> right. Remember, the most important part of probably the game itself is the green. You see, there's no sense in hitting the ball up here in two and then three putting the green. So what... Have you got a pencil? Why would I have a pencil for what? So I can mark the ball. You don't mark the ball. What you do is you take a ball mark. You put it behind the ball. You pick up the ball. You clean off at the ball. You put the ball back down there by the ball mark, and then I hit it into the hole. You got that? All right. <coughs> like I said, once we get onto the green, that's the most important part of the game. And once you get on here, you should line up with that shot. Make sure that it uh, doesn't break it too much to the left, or it doesn't break it too much to the right like that. So we... Have what? we got a ball mark? I don't have the ball mark. The caddy has it, the ball mark. You have it, the ball mark. If you don't have a ball mark, take a coin, take a dime, take a penny, put it behind the ball, pick up the ball, clean up the ball, put it back down there where the money is. You got that? All right. Like I said, <coughs> patience is very important in the golf too. So. Once you got to that ball lined up, you can be sure which way that the green goes, to the left or to the right, then you line up over the ball. You should also feel the grass. Make sure that it's not the wet, because if it's wet, the ball travels in a different way than it does when it's dry. So, once you got that ball and the grass all worked out, got which way that the green the breaks it to the right or to the left, then you're ready to line up your putt. Basically, what you want to do is get right over the ball and uh, make, make sure that uh, you got the, the ball all lined up, and you see if it goes to the, to the right or to the left. Uh, and to make sure if you're in an ocean, the ball always goes towards the ocean, so... Uh, That's a great, Leonard. Why don't I just catch a bus and come down there and try to sink that 40? Right. Now, keep it all elbow in. Good. That's your kid. Could you move just a little, please? Right. The other way. <laughs> now, nice, so easy stroke, elbows in, just... Who's <laughs> <laughs> Oh, well, down to the other end and hit that. Driver? Uh, try to get your concentration here. <laughs> Rover, heel. Over here. That's a good boy. <laughs> Do you want to go take the flag out of the hole for me? <clears throat> now, once you have your... Yeah. <clears throat> Leonard, 
Let me see your shoe. <laughs> I got it. <laughs> you only had both oars in the water. Give me that. Sometimes it's going to take you a few more strokes than you actually planned on, but it all works out in the end, so. There was an invigorating day out there in the old building. I'll tell you, it's that the one good shot that you make every day that'll make you want to come right back and play another Swift 18 tomorrow. Tell you what, we'll talk about the whole game up there at the old 19th hole. Now, if you'll excuse me just a moment, I'll be up there and join you in just a moment. <laughs> the old 19th hole, boy, this is the place where you talk about the, those good ones and you try to analyze those are bad shots, but most of all, it's just a place for guys to, to get together and just to talk and have a good old-fashioned bull session about the game itself. <laughs> right, Leonard? Want cheese dip? <laughs> cheese dip. No, I don't want any cheese dip. I wanted the bull session. That's what they wanted. Well, add up at the score. All right. Forget the cheese dip and add up for this bar! Well, that was pretty good. Well, you got five and seven and twelve. Ten and twenty-two. Eight, thirty. One, thirty-nine. Well, you got thirty-two points on the first three holes alone. 32, 6, 38. Now, well, for now, uh, I'll let him want to get the equipment in. Uh, I'll tell the folks if you right. want to. Uh, to join us uh, right here on the old first tee, just get your tee off time, go down to the pro shop and... Ah! <laughs> <laughs> On behalf of Dirk Dorf, we'd like to thank you for joining us at the beautiful North Ranch Country Club for Dorf on Golf. In the future, look for Dirk to bring you other helpful hints with Dorf, such as Dorf on Polo, Dorf's Hang Gliding and You, and Dorf's Hunting the Great White. Part of Boom Boom was played by Michelle Smith. The part of Rocky the Dog was played by Rocky the Dog. Stuntman was Phil Culotta. <laughs> <laughs>